Cruz Diaz. Need I say more? OK, maybe a little bit more. Out now is the spy thriller starring two of Hollywood's biggest stars. I'm loitering with intent in London today to find out what film fans really think of the comedy caper. Night and day. This is wild. I found two beautiful women, so beautiful in fact, I'm nervous. <laughs> well, have you seen the film Night and Day? Yes, I have. And in one word, what do you think? Disappointing. Disappointing. Is it a film that you'd go and see? Yes. You would? Yeah. Do, do you have a boyfriend? I do. You do. Okay, we'll stop that there then. Favourite Tom Cruise film of all time? Probably Top Gun. Top Gun? Yeah. It's got planes, yeah. it's got motorbikes, Legendary. sweaty men, sweaty men. Nice. What more could you ask for in a film? Definitely. Maybe a plot. Yeah. Favourite film of Tom Cruise? <laughs> film. Oh, film, yes. Your best one? Yeah, best one. Yeah, yep. yes, uh, number eight. Good. Yeah, number eight. A lot of people <laughs> have said eight. Hey, have you seen any of Tom Cruise's films? Probably. So what's your favourite one? Can't remember. Do you go to the cinema anymore? No. Hey, what's your favourite colour? I've got to get something out of it. What's your favourite colour? Uh, green. Green, there you go. What do you think of Cameron Diaz? <whistles> Lovely, yeah? Uh, what's the pattern? No. <whistles> what was that? Lovely. Tom Cruise, what do you think of him as a actor? <laughs> On a scale of 1 to 10, would you give him 1? Um... Next time, not too much of that, so he can watch the film. And talking of uh, funny looking people, hello mate, how you doing? How you doing? Mate? He's enjoying himself, <laughs> good stuff. We're asking people about the film, but need, need cash to see that. It's been 20 long years since the demise of the action-packed TV show, and since then, fans like myself have been waiting and waiting for our favourite soldiers of fortune to smash their way onto the silver screen. Not literally, because that would cost a wedge. But finally, the wait is over. Now, in 2010, it's time to welcome back the A-Team. Bars. Restaurants, cinemas, nightclubs, or as I like to call them, the battlefields. It's where the men and women of London go out on the pool. But who holds the power? That's what I'm here to find out. That's the power of love. Honestly, now, do you think women still hold the power when going out and pulling? Uh, yeah, to some extent. No kissing on a first date? No. Not even a fondle? No. no, no, no. Not even a peck on the cheek? Maybe. Maybe a peck on the cheek. That's all as right. far as I go. That's as far as you go on the first date? <laughs> Bridget. <laughs> they all say that, though, don't they, on the first date? You don't want to come across as, you know, but... No, I'm not saying that you... But how do you meet your husband? Uh, through mutual friends. Mutual yeah. friends. So it wasn't like a dating thing, and you? Yeah. Same thing. Same thing. Okay, Boring. that's all right. Boring. Did you approach him, or did he approach you? Uh, we met at a house party, uh, and I approached him, actually. So he was the better looking one in this time. <laughs> yeah. Do we want more easy girls out there or more girls that we need to pursue? It depends what you're looking for at the end of the night. Easy girls. Look, sweetheart, I'd love to put some cheese on your head because you're a cracker. Something like that. Yeah, would that work for you? What would you prefer? I think a non-cheesy pickup line. What are, you what are you trying to say? Would you say that you'd prepare yourself for maybe not coming home that night, some nights? Yeah, sure, yeah. She loves it, ho doesn't she? Ho for show. Ho for show. <laughs> Visit Canada. We don't really want to talk to some random stranger, unfortunately. Like you are now? Um, like I am right now. But it's quite entertaining. It's entertaining. You've got lovely eyes. Thank you. Uh, you obviously don't fall very much. I don't. It's weird, <laughs> isn't it? Well, there you have it. I've been out trying to find out who does control the dating game, and to be honest with you, I've learned absolutely nothing. You all right, Treacle? No, no, not you. You're all right, Treacle. Oh. Nah? Turns out they do have all the power. You're all right, fella.